dedicated to the strength of the nation. Proudly, we hail. Yes, Proudly We Hail, starring Albert Decker in Safari, the United States Army and United States Air Force presentation. And now here is our producer, the well-known Hollywood showman, C.P. McGregor. Thank you, thank you very much, and greetings from Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your theater of stars, where all the famous names of stage and screen join us in plays we know you'll enjoy. Our star is the popular actor, Albert Decker, and the title of our dramatic story, Safari. Here is an exciting story in which the wild elements of Africa are pitted against the frailties of human nature. We'll have the curtain for Act One in just a moment. But first, here's your announcer with this message of importance. You can be a key man on the U.S. Air Force team as a navigator. Learn about the U.S. Air Force's new navigator training course at Ellington Air Force Base in Texas. Applicants must be between the ages of 20 and 26 and one half and be able to meet certain educational and physical standards. Look into this opportunity for a future as a navigator, as a flying executive aboard the mighty bombers and transports of the U.S. Air Force. Plan now to consider this program. Visit your nearest U.S. Army and U.S. Air Force recruiting station today. Now once again, our producer. The curtain rises on Act One of Safari, starring Albert Decker as Jan Van Meer. <laughs> Cutting deep furrows in the green meadows of the sea, a great liner plows her way towards her home port, Amsterdam. Eight bells have been struck. The hour is well past midnight. In the almost deserted saloon, three men sit at a table beneath shaded lights, two of them intently listening to the third, an old, weather-scarred Hollander whose face wears the crease stamp of many African sons recites a story. It isn't a story told for amusement, but one that springs from the well of a heart. The Dutchman's voice is low, yet vibrant with dramatic insistence. Yeah, gentlemen. To some, Africa is a queen, a black, shining queen. To others, she is a bad woman, wicked, perverse, as all the demons of the infernos of Dante's hell. I can never forget them, nor can I forget how Africa cut them like a devil's whip. I watched them on the day. I watched them as they stood on the wharf in the swirling mass of flies and beggars. His face was like, was like a light shining in the dark. A light in the dark of Africa. Look at it, Lucia. By heaven, will you look at it? Oh, I am looking, Vance, intently. But I must say, I don't share your jubilance. Like something out of the dark ages, like, like... What did you say, darling? I distinctly said jubilance. After all, dear, you are acting like a child with a toffee app. Oh, Lucia, my sweet, don't be a bromide. This is Africa. This is El Dorado, the, the, the citadel of all our hopes and dreams. Our dreams, Vance? More like a nightmare. Well, look for yourself, Vance. Dust and flies, half-dressed natives, swarms of naked children with sores on their legs, and you want me to swoon with enthusiasm. Oh, Lucia. Well, I'm on the verge of swooning. But I assure you, not with enthusiasm. In the name of heaven, Vance, I am tired. I'm exhausted. And I can't bear much more of it. Oh, darling, I'm sorry. I, I didn't think. Look, I'll have a porter fetch our things, and then I'll find Jan van Meer. Once we're out of this wharfside, darling, you'll feel better. <laughs> There is a proverb in Africa, gentlemen. Where lives the prophet to foretell a woman's mind and the man to endure her beauty? I am the Jan van Meer he found, the overseer who had served his father before him. And when I saw her, gentlemen, a great pain welled up inside me. 
for she was as exquisite as the white egret in its dawn flight. And her eyes, her eyes held all the darkness and the mystery of Africa itself. And I dreamed of my youth, gentlemen, but I was only Jan von Mir, the overseer, to guide the bullock cart across the burning veld to that place of destiny. Are you tired of joggling, my sweet? We're almost there. I think. Jan, how much further? Beyond the next rise, my dear. Just beyond the next rise, my darling. I heard him. The next rise, I might as well be the edge of the world or the universe. Oh, poor sweet. You are tired. Not terribly, Vance. Though it would help if you could grease those foolish screaming wheels. <laughs> Impossible, my dear. It's a quaint African custom. Yes. Lucia. Darling, are you happy? I mean, really, not just pretending. You're thinking about that scene I made when we arrived, aren't you? Well, just, just wondering, Lucia. I said I was sorry, didn't I, Vance? There isn't much more I can say, is there? No. No, I, I don't suppose there is, but... Oh, Lord, Lucia, I want you to be happy for the simple reason that I love you more than anything else on Earth. You know that, don't you, darling? Yes. Yeah. But this is our beginning, my dear. In the wilderness like the beginning of Adam and Eve in Eden. You believe that, don't you? And the serpent, Vance? I don't know who he'd be unless it's, it's Jan van Meer. And I do know that he adores you. He does? Can't you tell by the way he looks at you? Oh, I haven't noticed. Oh, you'll never have to worry while I'm away. Not with Jan to look after you. While, while you're away, Vance? Well, naturally, there'll be times when I'll have to leave you alone for a few days. Produce has to go to the market, you know. Oh. Oh, don't look like that, Lucia. It'll only be once or twice a year, and I'll always bring you back pretties to make up for it. Mayneer. Yes, Jan? There is your land ahead of you. My land? Our oh, land, Lucia. Hold the wagons. I want to look at it all in one piece. From that row of trees, Mayneer, as far westward as you can see, the houses, kraal below us, are yours. Lucia. Lucia, look, darling. Our land, our houses, our world as far as we can see to the horizon. Oh, what do you think, darling? Why, I don't know, Vance. It's such a big world, isn't it? So big that I'm almost afraid. Yeah, gentlemen. And only I and the voodoo gods knew that moment how right this, this creature of unholy beauty was as she looked down the sloping hill to the reaching lands of her husband, who blindly adored her to the scattered ugly squat houses and kraals that was to be her home, as the gray cell is the home of a prisoner. Yeah, she was afraid with a fear that was greater than even she knew. I could see that fear take spark in those beautiful eyes. I knew, gentlemen, how I knew. Jan! Jan! Jan, my dear! Have the boys batten down everything movable. It looks like we're in for it. Yeah, I will see to it. Good man. Oh, and secure the horses inside the kraals. When you're through, come in for some coffee. I think we need some. Yeah, my dear. That will be good. Lucia! Lucia, it's Vance, dear. Luc Lucia! Didn't you hear me come in, dear? Yes, I heard you. Well... I... Should there be trumpets and cymbals to herald your homecoming? Well, that's an idea, darling. I haven't thought of it. Oh, don't be stupidly witty, Vance. I can't bear it. I'm sorry, my sweet. What's the matter? Touch of the nerves? This storm's enough to give anybody the horrors. In fact, I'm a bit on edge myself. Look, let's have a kiss. A cup of coffee and something to eat. We can tell the elements to go to places. No, don't touch me, Vance. Your hands are filthy. Oh, cheer. Well, look at them for yourself. Look at your nails, crusty with filth. And you smell of the stables. Well, at least it's clean dirt, my dear. The soil of the good earth. I'm a farmer, not a Bond Street model. Farmer's a good alias, isn't it? for scrabbling around in muck and dirt, treating your wife like one of those wenches. 
Trading the words English gentleman for African farmer. Lucia, that's enough. Is it? Why, well, I haven't even begun. On the contrary, you've quite finished, my dear. I, I can realize the strain of the last few months, living out here like pagans. But I won't have you defiling yourself or me. We're pioneers, Lucia. You understood that before we left England. We're fighting the frontier, and by the grace of God, we're beating it. Are we? Yes, by heaven, we are. Jan and I and the natives have torn nearly a thousand acres out of the belt for cultivation. Our cattle are fat, and in another few years... Another we'll... few years? Another few years of vast I... <laughs> What are you laughing about? Was Rome built in a day? No, it wasn't. Neither was Africa. Oh, you're very funny, Vance. Painfully, hideously funny. <laughs> Lucia. Lucia, stop it. Get hold of yourself, darling. Control yourself, Lucia. Please, there's somebody at the door. Come in, Jan. Lucia, in the name of him. I'm sorry, Mr. Winter, but it's not Jan. Huh? Uh, excuse me, dear. Oh, how do you do? How do you do, Mr. Winter? I'm sorry to intrude, but I heard you shout, come in, so I did. Of course, I I'm sorry, I don't usually shout, but I, I thought it was... Oh, uh, it's quite all right. I'm the one to apologize. Uh, uh, my name's Myling, York Myling. I was heading down country and I got caught in this blasted gale and I thought I might find a bit of refuge here, but uh, of course, if you rather... Not I... at all, Myling. Glad you came. Throw off your rain cape and make yourself at home. Thank you. I think you're just what the doctor ordered. Lucia, we've got company. Fate is a twisted thing, gentlemen. On that night, that storm, the only white man within 50 miles came to that house. York Myling, slaver, gambler, handy worker of Satan, came as the serpent into the peculiar Eden of Vance Winter. He stayed four days, gentlemen. Only four days. And when he left, she left with him. <laughs> the devil's curse on them! Every foul, rotten thing, take them and blast their filthy hearts in the pits! My nair! My, my get nair! Get out! Get out, you fool! My nair, please, in heaven's name, what is it? Jan. Jan, she's gone. Do you understand, Jan? Oh, she has gone with that filthy swine! Oh, Lucia. Oh, we pause briefly from our story, Safari, starring Albert Decker, to bring you an important message from your government. Teamwork. That's what makes the U.S. Air Force a well-balanced team. You can be a part of this team as a flying or non-flying executive with a challenging and rewarding future. Pilot, navigator, communications officer, or administrative executive, you're sure to find the career of your choice as a member of the U.S. Air Force. Now you can get first-hand information on the opportunity awaiting you. Make it a point to visit your nearest U.S. Army and U.S. Air Force recruiting station. Find out about the age, educational, and physical standards. Learn about the aviation cadet and officer candidate school programs. Your opportunity to prepare for a future that's secure and satisfying. Visit your local U.S. Army and U.S. Air Force recruiting station right away. It may well be the best investment for your future you've ever made. 